from a player's perspective, I got to say it's a threat because we've heard tough talk from them before. We're e even hearing players talk now about the need to, to put together, pardon a politically incorrect phrase, but the war chest and, and, and save your money now to be able to miss games because we know there's no competition when it comes to who can afford to miss game action. So unless and until I actually see the players united and all willing to miss games because there's the, there's the haves and the have-nots in terms of National Football League players, I'm going to say it's more of a threat that's easy, with all due respect, to say now several years out. But in terms of the climate, it really speaks to the climate. Yesterday we talked about the back and forth in terms of PR statements between the league and the PA as it relates to Ezekiel Elliott. They not only it's, – it's one thing for a union – and a league to be adversarial because they both obviously want different things. They're not, they not even reading out of the same book, let alone on the same page mm -hmm. when it comes to anything. So whether it's guaranteed contracts, player safety, schedule, what else am I missing? Commissioner power. Right. You know, guaranteed there's so many money, deal breakers all this, right all now. Yeah. Stuff. No, I'm with you. I, I almost, in many ways, I consider it almost less than a threat. Um, and I'm not sure. So what basically they're... empty. Pretty much, and, and, and it's not because I don't believe that their intentions aren't in the right place. I believe Richard Sherman when he says, like, hey, we got to stick together. We have to be prepared to miss games in order to have some real change in our league. I believe what D. Smith said, he means it right now, mm -hmm. to your point, and especially because it's a very hostile relationship with him in the league. The problem is, and, and we pointed this out when there was that conversation a few weeks ago about the difference between NBA players and NFL players, and you had people uh, like Odell Beckham Jr. saying how they deserve to make, uh, you know, that same kind of guaranteed money and this and that. The, the problem is that there's always going to be in the NFL with only so many slots and such a short career span, yeah. they feel a sense of urgency about their careers that's a lot different. And certain things are never going to change when it comes to ownership, which is commissioner, mm -hmm. power, often unchallenged power, and uh, guaranteed contracts, which you're talking about. I was outside the NFL PA offices the last time when, when Jeff Saturday and Bob Kraft were crying in each other's arms because they avoided a lockout and came to that deal. This is not just, I don't think this is the chance, but we talk about strike. From right. a lockout standpoint, it's going to be a long one. Right. It's, this actually might cost them time, but not enough time. And, and, and the players, I don't think, are going to be dug in enough to actually get the changes that they want. So I'm pessimistic from their perspective.